What's up guys, my name's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I am gonna talk about how I lost probably the easiest 10 pounds of my entire life. I'm gonna literally go through week by week by week by week to show you exactly what I did and how I was able to lose, you know, upwards of two pounds a week while being so, so stuffed the whole time. So for anybody that's unfamiliar with like what the carnivore diet is, it's kind of this new and up and coming meal plan, if you will, where basically all you do is eat just meat, 100% meat. But I wanna walk you through exactly what I did and how to do this healthfully because I'm not a trained medical practitioner, but for me, I gave it a shot because there are so many people out there that are seeing their autoimmune diseases literally disappearing, like diabetes, gone, tinnitus, gone. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, inflammation, all of that stuff is like completely going away with people when they just do this diet. I have to say this is probably something that I'm I'm going to stick with likely the rest of my life because it was something that was so impactful to me, at least to some format. I'm going to stick with it the rest of my life. And I want to walk you guys through this because if it helped me this much, I hope it'll help you. And I'm always talking about ways that we might be able to improve our lives. For me, removing alcohol from my life was probably one of the best things I've ever done for myself, like literally hands down. It's the same thing I'm realizing with this carnivore diet, which is awesome. I just kind of stumbled across this. I'm in the process now of becoming a coach for this carnivore diet and I'm learning all about it and all of the ins and outs and the really uh, important things that we need to know to do this right. So I hope you guys like this. day one of having just meat and that includes eggs and like fish you're having only whole foods you can't have cheese you're having no carbs eat are done it's about day three of just having meat just protein and water i am having this like killer headache and i don't get headaches often i'm about to order my electrolytes tonight you gotta have electrolytes for this kind of a diet to kind of get you through it okay this is day four i believe i'm at in the six mile trail run today it's hard definitely can feel a little bit of weakness but i kind of think that's more because i'm out of shape so i've got a very meat filled dinner it's gonna be bacon the beef and the eggs and i'm pretty excited about it i think it's gonna be bomb so I'm excited today i have been doing this now for five days and i have apparently lost five pounds, whether that's water weight or weight weight or, you know, inflammation, whatever that is that's going on. I definitely feel really good and real energized, very full all the time. Let, let me add, I'm not starving myself whatsoever at all. I'm stuffed all the time. Gotten really into making sausages. I love just getting these like grass fed sausages at the store. They're bomb, so bomb. And I have been like stuffing myself this whole time with food. And then the other thing is like, I don't even like want any like snacks, like any chips or anything. And normally I'd be going all over that. It's <laughs> not happening on this, I don't know. It's like, you might be hungry in the morning, so you eat and then you're full, you know, after just have some having some bacon and eggs, you're full for like eight hours after that. And it's not even like you want the food, you know, it's crazy. Okay, so this about wraps up the first week. I have just been having meat. So that's like beef, fish, you know, any, any kind of meat, salt, pepper, kind of a quick recap of everything that's been going on for me this whole past week and kind of where it's taken me. I'm pretty blown away, I'm not gonna lie. Just got off the Stairmaster. It's day eight, so the first day of week two. Without the carbs, I thought I would be like pretty dead. It's not so bad, actually. Maybe yesterday was the first day in a while that I've felt hungrier than I was the other seven days. Just even at the gym today, like I feel pretty good. I feel pretty ready to go without any of those carbs for now eight days, so woo. woo. So I just got these in the mail. These are super essential for anybody who's gonna do this carnivore diet. Our body holds on to electrolytes through water and you know various vitamins and things that we need basically in our body to function properly when we're eating fewer carbs or no carbs like i'm doing with this carnivore diet you're basically holding on to a lot less of those of that nutrients that we would need that helps our body function properly that's super important when doing this because otherwise you're going to be pretty much like malnourished and you ain't gonna have that 
That's not the kind of thing we want. That's the opposite of what we want. And I should have been doing this from the beginning. In case anybody's wondering, it just tastes like a shitload of salt. And I love salt, but that's a lot of salt. So I'm just gonna put it in my little droppers now because this is gonna let me measure how much I need to put into my drinks when I'm adding this. Bingo. Okay, so I've got my little my little dude here. You wanna put like pretty much a cap full. Let's see over there, a little cap full worth every 32 ounces of water. I, I'll put probably just a cap into that just to be a little bit extra with it. It's gonna probably taste pretty salty, but um, I don't really care, I love salt. I just woke up without an alarm, which is the seventh time I've done that since I started the all meat diet. So I am just crisp in the morning. Usually I'd be sleeping until like 8.45, 9, since I've been on this. The second I started on it, I wake up early without anything and I feel good. I have another video I made about this, about giving up coffee for three months and how significant that was for me, but now it's just me and my decaf iced Americano. I'm getting a whole lot of meat. I've got salmon, I've got bacon, I've got more bacon, brats, and I've got a whole lot of ground beef, which is kind of disgusting. But I'm standing in this area right now that's just all the cookies, all the bread, everything that I want. And I have not had cravings for any carbs until today, and it's hitting me. Okay, feeling pretty good. And I think I look pretty good too. So like I'm seeing that, holy crap, there's results. Like results doesn't mean like weight loss. There is a lot of weight loss going on, but I also am noticing I feel freaking bomb. Like I am not hungry at all. If ever, I'm not feeling like I'm like so hungry and it's just such a struggle to do this, like at all, I feel great. And the craziest thing is that I'm honestly not craving carbs like that bad. Kind of feels liberating. Not sure how the next few weeks are gonna go though. Maybe it'll change, so we shall see. It's about 10.30, I'm gonna go see if I can do this trail run. It's gonna be about eight miles. I'm going up this guy, wait, that guy. I have the energy to do it, so that's pretty cool. Feel good about it. I'm about three miles in and my legs are burning. I don't think I have enough carbs in me to go the rate that I want to go. I have to keep stopping. I'm cramping a lot in like my shoulders, kind of like back here, my back. It's never happened before. And it might be because I haven't been drinking enough of those electrolyte, electrolytes. I think that's what this is. I've never felt this before. It's not painful. It's just kind of uncomfortable. I just got back from my trail run and I am so Oh, shaky. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty shaky, pretty nauseous. I just bombed. I've been chugging electrolytes, but I think I just need food in me ASAP, ASAP. Ooh, I feel good today. It is just the day after my sickness, but I feel super good. I am fitting into these pants that normally are pretty snug on me, but not today. I'm gonna talk to you through this mirror here. No inflammation, no bloating, none of that. But the best part is like, you guys, my energy is like out of this world. Very little anxiety, which is super rare for me. Just kind of like my vibe all around is just up and it's been up. And the only time that it's been down is when I, after I do those long runs. I think that it's because I'm in the sun for like three, two or three hours, sometimes four. So like the sun is pulling liquid out of my body and when you pee, for example, you pee out electrolytes. Like pee isn't free, it comes with electrolytes. So every time you pee, you let, let, let go of some electrolytes. I think that really actually was a lot of the problem if I really do think about this because that's the only time I felt like shit this whole time was that distance running. But I'm still gonna try because I really, really, really love trail running and I'm trying to train for this half marathon one that's coming up soon. You might think that doing this carnivore diet would make you feel like less productive in the gym and capable of doing your workouts but I have not experienced that like I feel really strong <clears throat> I feel really capable I feel really powerful when I'm in the gym okay so I've just now entered into week four I have dropped another pound of body fat off of this diet I think you can see I'm like I'm pretty lean this is the most full I have ever been in my entire life hands down today's the day you guys I'm gonna make liver Ew. Not very excited. I don't know what that's gonna be like. But if you are doing the carnivore diet, you do need to have organ meats. So 
I, you gotta do it. And I know liver is like a super delicacy, like for sure, and, and we have this like stigma against it. So I'm gonna just look past that and just get the damn liver. Now I just gotta find a recipe to do it. So this very well may be a total disaster. I'm gonna cook liver for the first time, so yeah. <laughs> I think I'm probably looking for beef. Okay, that's fine. All right, turn, okay. Can I freeze that too for later if I wanted? Yeah. I'll do both, I okay. guess. Yeah. All right, I got it. I got my first liver and I got some beef, which, pro tip, it's way cheaper at a butcher store than it is at like a standard grocery store. But I, I don't want to eat liver, but I'm going to do it. I'm not a bold eater. This is not something that I'm like used to doing. So you guys are going to be doing this with me. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. That is so disgusting. For this, I've never eaten this much meat in my life. And I like definitely didn't eat liver. I just like have never even come across that, but it's supposed to be this crazy good for you superfood. There it is. It's pretty disgusting. All right, here goes nothing. There it is. That is liver. Do you want to try it? All right, come here. This is Lauren's first foray into <laughs> cooking liver. But... <laughs> it's not horrible. Mm. It's not great. Oh, it's got a weird taste. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you think? You're not crazy about it? Oh, my God. God damn, that's gross. Oh, I think it's safe to say that I'm not a fan of liver. It tastes, uh, I don't even know what it, it just, it tastes not good. <laughs> Something that I've found to be super liberating about this particular style of eating is like, I'm not at all limiting my amount of foods. So specifically for this style of eating, I have eaten always how much I want to eat, like to be, to the point of being like very full. And I have never felt deprived on this. I have never once felt deprived in this process and still have managed to, you know, lean up and continue to build muscle and feel good and feel strong and not feel like I'm holding back on eating at all. Okay, so that about does it for the entire month of me doing carnivore diet, you guys. And as you can see, I lost 10 pounds plus, tons of inches, and my mood was better, my attitude was better, no inflammation, no bloating. Uh, I just actually went and got my blood tested today, totally good. My blood pressure, totally good. Everything is like extremely healthy and just positive. I do hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna be posting more and more videos about carnivore diet as I look to go on this journey to actually become a coach and help you guys out. And if you guys have any comments, any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. If you like this video, please like it so other people who might need to see it can see it. And you know, I talk about this stuff all the time, just ways to improve my life, ways to break the program and the matrix that we're stuck in with all of this alcohol consumption and you know, food and sugar consumption and all that kind of stuff. And this channel is really a, fl a place for people who are coming to want to improve their lives and are seeking a little bit more. I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.